that our community should continue to go mehail al hail. And if today is 150 boys, next year there should be 200. And soon there should be 300. And we should continue because the, the more that they succeed, the more our community is going to succeed. And the more Klal Yisrael is going to benefit. Hashem should give them beracha, vehatzlacha. And again, I want to thank them for inviting me. It's a great honor for me to be involved. And Be'ezrat Hashem, we should always be together. Besimchat Torah. Amen. Before we call up the next honoree, we would like to take a moment to thank all of our sponsors for this evening. If not for them, this project would not be possible. Seder de Zeraim has been graciously, graciously sponsored by my dear friend, Mr. and Mrs. Ila Ashkenazi, for the Hatzlacha of their children. Seder Moed has been sponsored by Mr. and Mrs. Ray Haber, in memory of Shulamit Batrifka Aleha Shalom. Seder Nashim has been generously donated by Mr. and Mrs. Jimmy Kezri in memory of Seli Kezri Aleha Shalom. Seder Nizikin has been sponsored by our friends from Panama, Mr. and Mrs. Harry Nisim and Mr. and Mrs. Didier Haifetz. Seder Kochim has been announced to be sponsored in honor of Rabbi Amram Sananis. And Seder Taharot has been sponsored by Mr. and Mrs. Bamin Gamezim in honor of the Rosh Hashiva Shlita. We would like to thank also all those who have sponsored Masichtot. Thank you for all your continued support. The next honoree. The next honoree is a long-time graduate of Yeshivat Mikdash Melech, a person who personifies and exemplifies the yeshiva with his Torah, his Derech Eretz, and Yirat Shemaim. A true Tamid Acham who has an amazing koach to reach anybody and everybody on all levels. This koach isn't a secret. It's his warmth and his sincere love which he feels for everyone where you can't not love him in return. He started a minyan in Sharet Zion about a year ago and within weeks it was packed. I was a recipient of this warmth and his kiruv as he invited me many times to have Shabbat in his home in Harnof to befriend me and make sure I felt comfortable in yeshiva. I would like to invite Rabbi Joey Mizrahi to, expect the, to accept the Hadbatsa Torah award and to address the kahal. I would also like to invite Rabbi Goodman to present this award to the rabbi.
Bishut, the Rosh Hashiva, Bishut, the dais of great rabbis, my Rebbeim, family, friends, Talmidim. It's really my honor to be here. And I look around and I see the perot and the fruits of what Mikdash Melech created and the Tamideh HaChamim. And I'm very, very humbled. And I'd just like to thank my good friend, Rabbi Ralph Kindi, who's like a brother to me. Okay, we can clap, just clap. Right. And like I said, it's very humbling, but that the yeshiva feels that in a small way, I, uh, they identify with me. They, they're not embarrassed to say I went to the yeshiva enough, that's praise for me. But the true honoree of the night is the yeshiva itself. And Rabbi Maimon. <laughs> Rabbi Maimon is the engine that makes the yeshiva run. The rabbi is a tamin hacham par excellence. Someone who's there for all the bachurim, somebody who's hashkafa, shaped my worldview and the worldview of countless, countless talmidim. And we like to give the beracha to the rabbi, the true honoree of the night, that he should have many, many years of harbatzah Torah, of continued strength and success to, all, to the rabbi and all the other rabbis. Amen. I'm a little too short for this. The theme of the night is Etz Chaim Hila Mahazikim Ba, that the Torah is a tree of life to those that hold on to it. Now, of course, the Pasuk itself is talking about the Torah. But I think it's an apt metaphor for the yeshiva itself. And I'll give you an example. When something grows on a tree, and you detach it from the tree, and you see the fruit, and the fruit has a lot of good qualities, the fruit tastes delicious, it looks delicious, it's very appetizing, and the fruit is no longer on the tree, but when you look at that fruit and you ask, where did it grow? Where did it get all these qualities? When did this all happen? And the answer is, it happened on the tree. Those of us who are no longer in the yeshiva, I look to some of our students who are still in the yeshiva, and those of us who are no longer in the yeshiva, like Rabbi Ralph said, there's a memory every single day of the yeshiva. It could be 12 a.m. on a Thursday night, I'll look at my watch, and in my head, I say, Mishmar. Could be late at night on a weekday night, and I closed the Gemara a long time ago. And in a, in a form of guilt, I think, you know, if this was Mikdash Melech, we would still be in the Met Midrash. It could be on a Thursday night, and I think how Rabbi Balanson used to give us 15 blot to review over Shabbat, three Thursday night, three Friday afternoon, three Friday night, three Shabbat day, three Motzai Shabbat. 15 daf. And subconsciously, on Thursday night I say, I have a lot to learn on Shabbat. I got to get those 15 daf done. They don't get done. We're not in the yeshiva. It's like, you know, Dorothy, you're not in the yeshiva anymore. Rabbis, forgive me. All right? Rabbi Rain understands. All right? <laughs> Rabbi Maimon once told me in the yeshiva, he said, when you, there are good days and bad days in life. Bad days are to fight through. You've got to fight through a bad day. And good days are to show you what you're capable of. Mikdash Melech inspired me. The fruit is off the tree. But when you ask on this fruit, where did it get its qualities? Where did it get its accomplishments? I think for most people, and maybe all people in this room, we say we acquired them in the yeshiva. Who we are today is because of the yeshiva. But I think tonight, the theme of the night is that it's no longer enough to reminisce. It's no longer to look back and say, you know, that's what I was doing in the yeshiva. And that's what I should be doing now. But we look back with nostalgia how it was in the yeshiva. I think when we say Etz Chaim Hila Mahazikim Ba, it's not only referring to the Torah, but for our purpose we say it's to reconnect ourselves to Mikdash Melech. 
and to reassert ourselves, to reapply ourselves, to recommit ourselves to the ideals of the yeshiva, which is Torah, Torah, and more Torah. And because we all look at the yeshiva like our best years, I think what we should all, at least personally, and in a, if in a small way, we accept upon ourselves to reattach ourselves to that tree, not to be detached and say, look, look how good this person is. You know where the growth happened? It happened in Mikdash Melech. But to say, let's get back on the tree. Why should it be that on a Thursday night I look back and say, if I was in Mikdash, my Gemara would be open. And on a Thursday night I say, if I was in Mikdash, we'd have learned 15 daf over Shabbat. But Be'ezrat Hashem, personally, in a small way, to be Mikabel, not to be detached from the Etz Chaim of the Yeshiva, but to reattach ourselves to the Etz Chaim of the Yeshiva. And Be'ezrat Hashem, if we do, we can say like we ended Megillat Echa on a very happy note, we said, Hashivenu Hashem Elecha ben Ashuva, Chadesh Yamenu Kekeden. And Be'ezrat Hashem, all of us together will have a renewed Kabbalat Torah, not to be detached, but to be attached, to make our rebellion proud, and to serve as an example to our community at large. Thank you to the yeshiva. Thank you all. Thank you uh, with much appreciation.